Welcome to today's Rate Fast Speed Seminar. Today we are going to discuss the AMA Guide's 5th edition Approach to Impairment Rating. Let's start with some definitions. Impairment rating severity is designed to reflect the functional resultant limitations. The higher the value of the whole person impairment, the more severe the reflection of the functional limitations. Most chapters in the AMA Guide's 5th edition will report impairment in whole person impairment units. This is often referred to as the WPI percentage. Upper and lower extremity chapters are a little different and have regional impairments which are used to assign additional weighted values to specific areas of the arms and legs, such as the wrist, the thumbs, and the fingers, relative to the elbow and shoulder. Similarly, in the lower extremities, the hip, knee, and ankle relative to the toes. In Chapter 16, the upper extremities, sub-impairment levels are reported, including digits, hand, and upper extremity impairment. In Chapter 17, the lower extremities, sub-impairment values are reported at the level of foot and lower extremity. Regional impairments of the spine are weighted accordingly to the contribution of function. This explains why the cervical spine has the highest impairment value in the DRE categories at 38 percent, while the thoracic and lumbar spine have similar ranges of 25 to 28 percent in the category 5 DRE. Let's do some problem solving. A 52 year old right hand dominant labor worker sustains an amputation to his right thumb at the MP joint. This is 40% hand impairment, and also an amputation of the right small finger at the MP joint, 10% hand impairment. Why such a big difference? Using the organ system and whole body approach to impairment, the thumb is given four times the value as the little finger for functionality importance. Thank you for joining us today for the Rate Fast Speed Seminar. To learn more, please visit us at rate-fast.com and click the tab for blog where you can read more about impairment rating.